Are you looking to use the Smartsheet count, count if, or count ifs formula? Are you not sure how you need to build them, or maybe you're getting some errors and you're not quite sure what's going wrong? Well, either way, you've come to the right place because today I'm going to be walking you through each of these different formulas, how to build them from scratch, and I'm also going to be giving you some tips and suggestions along the way. Now, before we delve into them, I do just want to quickly mention that I have released a complete Smartsheet formula course and I will be leaving a, uh, a link to that course in the description down below so do consider checking that out if you are new to Smartsheet or you really want to use formulas to kind of analyze your data and get the most out of um, all of the data that you have in Smartsheet um, and it is currently on discount so I would suggest checking that out obviously this formula is included in more detail in that course but with that said let's delve into the video here today and let's look at these three formulas in particular so as you can see, I've created a brand new sheet and um, we've put some dummy data in. So in this example, we are a fruit store that is selling various different types of fruit. Um, and we're we've, in our dummy data, we've basically sold different quantities of the fruit on different days. So imagine this is almost like a PL if you like. Um, now, if we wanted to do a count, so let's say, I mean, this would obviously have be much more applicable if this was a massive sheet and you wanted to quickly get an understanding uh, of how many uh, times you, you may have sold fruits or, or, or perhaps even you know depending on your projects or what you're looking to summarize it will obviously uh, be slightly different but let's say in this example I want to count uh, how many uh, fruit um, times we've sold basically so equals let's do the count one first so equals count open brackets uh, and we just want to select the reference. So we could either select this entire column. Oh, didn't work there, didn't like that. What I'll do is I'll do this one first. So I'm, I've left clicked and dragged and close bracket. Now I'm gonna get rid of that formatting because that's slightly annoying. So I'm just gonna use that cell there to do that. And basically if we look at this, uh, what I'm basically doing here is I want to count everything that appears in this column. Um, and at the moment, we've only got a reference from row one to seven. Uh, if we wanted to do the entire column, we could literally take out those numbers. It doesn't matter in this respect. Um, it would matter if I'd added another one in here and obviously the, the, the reference wasn't complete. So what this is basically saying is we sold on, I suppose, on, on seven different dates, we sold uh, seven uh, bits of fruit if you like obviously we've got units sold so it's slightly complex in this one let's say in the next example so now we're going to look at count if formula so let's say we only want to count the number of times we sold uh, a banana um, in this example it would be equals count if open bracket the range would be very much the same but here we're going to go comma and the criterion is going to be open uh, quote mark banana and close quote mark and close bracket. So now what this is saying is it's counting three three instances of a banana in this particular column. Now, if one other thing you could do, again, you could do the entire um, column as well by taking out the numbers. Now it's obviously expanded the reference. One thing you could also do is you could, when you get to this point, you could, you could click here and then press enter and that's going to do the same thing so basically what this is doing this alternative is it's looking for this particular text within this cell so instead of typing it manually you could use the uh, at row functionality also works but of course for this to work you need to have the the text kind of in the in the formula column or where you're kind of running the formula from so that's count if now count ifs so this is when you want to basically apply two different um arguments to your formula or count on the basis of two different things. So let's say we only want to count bananas if they were sold over 20 times. So as you can see here, we have three bananas in the list, but we only want to count if it's over, they were sold over 20 times. So what we would do here is, I'll just do it in this cell, we would go equals count ifs, obviously you need the s on the end this time, open bracket, so count if, now we need to do obviously the first reference, comma, so count banana, close quotation, comma. The second range is gonna be the units sold. So I've left clicked and dragged, comma, is greater 
than 20, close bracket. And if I quickly change the formatting, should have done that ahead of the video, but much uh, apologies there. What this is essentially saying is it's looking in both columns and it's saying there's only one instance of where a banana has been sold more than 20 times uh, at once. That's essentially what it's saying. It's a bit of a weird example. I'm really sorry about that. Um, didn't really think it through, did I? But uh, you get the concept here. It's not counting every time there's banana sold because this time, you know, there's the units under 20. So of course, if I whack this up to 30, it's gonna change this to two. So you see the concept here, and it's really, that's what I'm trying to show you is, is how it kind of works. And that's what you need to take away from this video. So maybe you wanna pause this video at this particular point and see how I've done this. Um, but it's all about the referencing and, and I'm just changing it to the entire column now. So it's all about the referencing um, and Let's put that back to eight to show you how it works. So yeah, it's all about the referencing and just making sure you have your columns aligned. So I hope this video was useful. If it was, please do hit the like button. That tells me I should continue making videos like this. And do consider subscribing to my channel. And if you head over to my channel, I have a entire playlist on Smartsheet training with lots of other formulas and just using the, uh, the tool itself. So I would suggest doing that uh, and, and I do just want to finally mention my, my Smartsheet course that I've, I've previously discussed. I would really recommend getting onto that if you're new to Smartsheet. It will save you a lot of time and effort. Um, and you can even copy and paste formulas directly from the, from the uh, course notes. Um, and at the moment, I've actually got a bundle on that uh, you can get the, my Smartsheet formula course and my Smartsheet dashboard course uh, for a discounted price if you get both of them at the same time. So with all of that said, I hope you have an excellent day.